and pre-flop. I don't think there was too much going on one way or the other. Uh, he had two suits, I had two suits. I bet it's uh, within the 55 range of both. It might be within the 52 range of both. Uh, I got lucky and won it. Let's see if I get lucky and win this one. He has the best hand, but I have plenty of outs. That's the bad card. It's a really bad card. Uh, I think I was definitely a favorite on the flop there, but nonetheless, it didn't work out. Let's find the cursor and take a peek. I could win with the ace, the king, the queen, and the nine of the eight, so. Well, one more thousand. He has me completely and utterly dominated. He still does. Close it down here. I got a pair and I got a flush draw. Here I got the big uh, guacamole. There's no sense in slow playing or anything. We'll get into 8,600 each. I will have the best hand, and he's playing the jack 9 8. Now he's not playing too much. Um, so, what do we have over here? I still have my flush draw. This is a little weak, this check, but nonetheless, it's all mine. It's all mine. Lucky. I'm not planning on folding here. He does bet 12,400. Okay. I think I'm going to try the 11. fives. Hardly the best hand. Can I bluff out two queens? Can I bluff out two queens is the question. I have no idea. I probably should have bet the turn because there was a much better chance of bluffing out the two queens on the turn. Here I got the top pair and the flush draw, backdoor flush draw. He said he can beat. He says he's going to beat me. And I claim I can beat him over there. Okay, do I have the guts to raise one more time? Go ahead, you, you bluff me. I'll let him bluff me. And I'm stuck in 10 ball total on the two tables. re-raise there. I did have a 7 in my hand. Wasn't that likely he had the 6-7. It was definitely possible. Definitely possible. I think I cost myself by not betting the turn since I was bluffing on the river anyways. Um, looks like the wrong decision for sure. Looks like the wrong decision for sure. Two pair. That's me with 30,000 left. I'm not afraid. should be a little bit afraid. Do I want to put in 24 more in an 18k pot? It's going to be 42. I can bet 15 on that one. Do I want to call over here? Yeah, maybe I do. I'm not going to. Trips definitely didn't look like the flush there. I think he would have put the rest of the money in with the flush. So I felt it was fairly safe to bet another 15. And I did have the best hand with the two pair. I don't think there's any doubt about that. I don't think there's any doubt about that. King had flush draw two sevens. Another two sevens. I can take one off. Don't have to raise. I can definitely 
Oh, I could have re-raised there. I don't mind re-raising those. Here's a four ball with absolutely nothing. That's an interesting card. There's the seven of clubs. Could get me in trouble. Uh, could cost me another 12000 But I have to admit, I think it probably won me the pot. I think it probably won me the pot. So... He's not expecting me to bet. And he wants to call. I don't think he has a straight. I really don't think he has a straight. He's so going for the check raise, and it's a great play. I don't think he has a straight. Maybe he made a small straight. Nope. I didn't get any value for for that bet. So you could definitely, one could definitely argue that it was the wrong idea. But it was all mine. Okay, 3,800. I think I got 10-6 on that one. Bottom pair, the two blocking jacks. sent me out of my misery and suddenly I made two pair. Now I got eights and fives. What did I get myself into? What did I get myself into here? I think there's a good chance of two pair. Does he have aces and tens? Not very likely. Does he have aces and eights? Not too likely either. Some kind of drawing hand? Okay. I think I have the best hand with eights and fives. I might win it right here. Nope. He had, he trapped me. He had tens and eights. He had tens and eights with a flush draw. He trapped me. He did trap me. I had outs though. I had outs, but not too many. I could hit a five, two fives, two jags, three aces, seven outs. That's not really what you're hoping for in that spot. That is not what you're hoping for in that spot. And here we go again. This time it's the, the trips. The more enticing. Obviously he's going to make it 3,800. I'm going to make it 10,6. And I'm going to see if it works this time. He could have me beat. He could have me drawing very slim. I'm not sure which. He says. give me a chance to bluff at it. I'm obviously not going to fold. I'm obviously not going to fold. Alright, I made my flush. Maybe that's what he leaves. No, he just Laid low. Smart move on his part. Didn't lose anything extra. One fifteen. I think I'm in for it. Still stuck. Not too much though. Ugly hand. Ugly hand. Yeah, it looks like another 10-6 over here. I don't see any reason for him to have two sixes beat. Alright, give him another chance to bluff at it. This time I might fold. Okay, the wrap and the flush draw. Aces and Kings. The wrap and the flush draw on the Aces and Kings. 